Hi, I'm Max Brosnan with the Fiercely Independent Network, and we're here at the Woodstock Playhouse for the screening of The Condor and the Eagle. I am Clément Guerra, Clement Guerra, or Clemente Guerra, depending on the languages you, uh, you use. Um, my wife is the co-director, she's Sophie Guerra, I'm, uh, originated from France. My mom was born in Algeria, in northern Africa and uh, from a family of settlers. So basically, my mom comes from a family of settlers. And uh, so I always grew up with uh, the experience of seeing my mom struggling with, uh, you know, taking, like parting away from her past and this origin of like uh, being part of the abusers, the oppressors. So I think, you know, I grew up with this, uh, um, mm, um, this experience of dealing with the trauma from my mom, my origin, I, you know, like I had to deal with this trauma myself as well. So I studied sociology, anthropology, and it's very been like a, a process of freeing myself of liberation, as I uh, understood that I needed to reflect deeply and look deeply into my uh, roots that are not indigenous, but on the other side from the side of the uh, abusers and oppressors, settlers. So it's been like uh, the starting point from who I've become right now and partly why I directed this film. I, I think that it's very clear to all of us that we have lived in a manner that is shameful as human beings in relationship to all that is. And that it's time for humans to take responsibility for their portion of, of caring for our mother, the earth. That it's time for human beings to accept uh, the philosophy of the seventh generation, believing that for seven generations, our people have prayed, our, our loved ones, whether they're in the form of a stone or a deer or the air that blows or the thunder nation, that those things have prayed for us to come and be here and be alive at this moment. What do we owe to the generations to come? When your great, 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 great grandchildren are here, will they look back and say, yeah, she took responsibility. That's why I can breathe. That's why I can eat. That's why I can drink. Or will they look back and say, no, they were part of that system that's poisoned me. I'm looking forward um, this collective awakening that I can notice in so many more people. You know, I think like 20 years back, you would look at people, they would be stuck in their day-to-day -day life, you know, reproducing their family patterns and cultural patterns. And I think nowadays there's more and more people all over the world, uh, especially privileged people that start awakening to what the film depicts, which is like stepping away from your ego and more and more rediscovering your interco interconnectedness with the everything and your deeper self, your spirit. So I'm very enthusiastic about that. What have anybody else in this room done to take responsibility? Who has taken to the streets here? Who has elected officials and put them in a position of making those decisions? Who has said no subsidies to those extractive industries? Who has been the ones on the front lines out there putting their bodies out? I had all my children and grandchildren are present at everything that we do. All of my generations that are known to me, and there are seven generations, have taken responsibility for living in harmony with all that is. Is there anyone else in that room who can say that? We essentially targeted like Canada, the US, Peru, and Ecuador. So that's why you know it's called the Condor and Eagle because one of those um, uh, one of the visions of the Condor and the Eagle is showing that after 500 years of colonization arises the opportunity for modernity and tradition, the heart and the mind to come back again together and it's symbolized with the North and the South coming together. So the global North as the colonizers and the global South as the uh, victims of this split between mind and heart. That from the very beginning, we had this very participatory approach where the protagonists were part of building up the script about the film. We're part of like developing the film and where it's gonna go. And uh, now that the film is finished, what we are doing, we are putting together a more than a year outreach campaign where we're using the film as a way to support the indigenous community-led environmental justice movement where media work can actually 
help communities better report on the impacts they leave, reach out to other communities, and keep growing the movement. Uh, reach out to us because we will soon lead uh, fundraisers in order to fi fund those um, actions, events that will take place 2020. Thank you. Our website is theconorandeagle.com and we are glad to soon get in touch with you. For more information on the Woodstock Film Festival, visit www.woodstockfilmfestival.com.